Do me a favor. Tell me if you've heard this from a real estate agent, mortgage broker before. I know I have, but maybe you have or have not. And that is, Michael, I am going to marry the house and date the rate. That just makes my skin crawl. But let's talk to Matt, the mortgage guy, and really understand what does it mean to marry the house, date the rate. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, Mike. And thankfully, uh, you can't find me on record singing that 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 tune because um, it is a little cheesy and and it just sounds salesy, right? I'm yeah. a non salesperson, salesperson in in my own eyes. I think me and my team agree yeah. that we're presenting information, education, right. and letting people make decisions. But I will tell people, you know, we're putting together scenarios and we're trying to figure out budget and do what we do to truly add value and help people. We remind them that, you know, if you find the right house in the right neighborhood, a payment that you can afford and are comfortable with, it can only get better, right? You can only go down like Warren Buffett talked about how, you know, the 30 year fixed rate mortgage is the greatest thing ever because you can renegotiate it lower later, quote unquote, refinance, but it's never going to go up, right? So I want to be very clear because what I heard you just say is in this story of marry the house, date the rate, you're at least dating the rate with 30 year fixed rate debt is for what sure. I heard you say. Oh, for sure. I hear almost all mortgage brokers and many real estate agents talk about marry the house, date the rate with a five-year arm. And that just makes me feel so uncomfortable. Right. So, and, and it should, it, it should, because, you know, with, with arms comes risk. And the funny part is vast, vast majority are not doing jumbo loans. Vast, vast majority um, are are not writing arms either. I know like like the data show that they went up to like 10 or 11% of total volume or something, but like, I just don't see them being written in the, um, you know, conventional space, like you know, conforming loan limits. Um, and so I don't think a lot of people are, are, are jumping into arm loans. Um, I think you'd be shocked. All right, I'm gonna get some data from my from my buddy at BlackRock because I, yeah. uh, um, I'd be I, oh, and, and again, it, it, and maybe they're not closing on them, but again, I'm hearing people getting pitched these right. People at one rental at a time come to me and they go, hey, "What do you think of this? What do you think of that?" Like, I know it's coming when they say, "Michael, where do you think rates will be in three years? Where do you think rates will be in five years?" My first answer, I have no freaking idea. Right, I'm guessing like everybody else. And let, why are yeah, why are gonna, you asking? Yeah, as a mortgage person, let me, you know, confirm some of the risks that make you, you know, shy away from from arms. It's not just where rates are going to be in 3 to 5 years. Are you going to qualify? Exactly. Is the equity going to be there? You know, it's not an assumption that you're going to be able to refinance even if rates are lower. Um, exactly. you know, guidelines could change. And that was the problem in 2012. Um, where I like, I looked back recently and I'm like, why didn't I buy more, more real estate in 2012? And then I remembered the conversations I had with buddies. It was hard. Yeah. You, made you it could only get four. You could only get four. And, you know, I happened to be working a job that was, you know, some money under the table, some money, you know, got claimed on taxes, um, plead the fifth on any of the, you know, yeah. monies I made in the, in the. Yeah, there's a dollar. There's a dollar. <laughs> sorry, Gavin, dollar. sorry, sorry, federal government, but I'm paying lots now. Um, so, you know, it, it's real that you have to account for risk when you're doing an adjustable rate mortgage. And part of my research, Mike, is going to be how much better is the rate? What is the benefit? Because if you're telling me you're going to go put yourself into a five year arm or a three year arm versus 30 year, for a quarter in rate, never is, I advise that. I there are people doing that, right? Because again, I've looked at like when I get so many of these now, especially first time home buyers. Oh, I'm going to marry the house and date the rate, Michael. It's going to be great. I'm going to do <laughs> rates are coming down. I know, I know they're, I know they're coming down. Matt told me, and so did Barry Habib. Yeah, I'm like, really? That's fairly interesting. But again, when I look at the numbers, and you just said it, you give me a five arm, five year arm or a 30 year and the Delta is a quarter with all the risks. Are you kidding me? 
I'm going to be really upfront. I would not even consider it unless it was a full point, right? I might look at it in a unique situation and go, okay, it's a point difference. I'm going to be in and that out of the house in three years. That's the plan. Maybe I'll do a five arm because that's significant, a point. But you're talking a quarter, an eighth for all the risk that I see? No, thanks. That's why I was so happy to hear you talk about 30 year. If that's the plan, first off, you're fully approved, right? You're not writing to some lower rate. And you don't have any time risk or equity risk or DTI risk or life event risk. You're good. You It doesn't get worse. It only can get better. If right. that's what people mean by marry the house, date the rate, I'm cool. But that's not what I see being pitched out there. Well, that's what I mean. When okay. <laughs> I, I, I haven't said it yet, but but that's that's the kind of silver lining in a really tough market um, for first time home buyers who are stretched. Affordability is a problem. You know, it just it feels really tough. And I get it and I empathize with first time home buyers. But you know, if we're gonna buy something at 515 and we've got to attach this higher rate to it and 39.50 a month all in feels like a lot, I get it, right? And you still have to be in a position where you say, if I can never refinance this, is this something I'm, I'm good. Comfortable? Yeah. You know, exactly. am I gonna be able to um still take vacations? not feel stressed and have that affect my health. Like that kind of stuff is real. Like no, money absolutely. stress is terrible. Real. Yeah. Yes. Affects your, you know, attitude, your, your mood, your health, all of it. And so, you know, if you look at that and go, you know what, like we can make that happen. They just raised my rent again to 3,600 and I'm tired of living in a yeah. two bedroom apartment. Okay. Do yeah. that. Knowing good, that yeah. You know, for, for some folks, I like to show them, um, not because I'm trying to sell the future, but, you know, you borrow a half a million dollars, you go from a 699 to a 5%, um, five or $600 a month, yeah. right? And so- yeah, So it can get better. I'm Again, I'm, I didn't know where this was going, but if you're going to marry the house date the rate on 30-year money, I'm down for that. Because you know the worst case, you're already approved, we're doing real lending today. Um. Yeah, so it only gets better for you. Now, when would you advise? Is it two points, right? You just did an example of six nine nine, which is basically seven to five. What is it like a point lower? I have no idea. Like seven to six. Seven to six. You know, thirty nine fifty to thirty six thirty. So it's still three hundred and twenty dollars. Um, right. Okay, so and, then it goes. Okay, got it. And and so it's 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 significant. Um, the 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 place where I saw arms that made sense in my math head was, mm -hmm. you know, and, and every scenario is unique. This is why you can't give blanket mortgage advice to everybody. Yeah. Somebody who's financially savvy has a backup plan and is okay with a little bit of risk. You borrow a million dollars and I can give you a 1% lower um, on the interest rate. You're going to save, you know, $10,000 a year. Sure. And and so that person who understands the risk and says, you know what, like I've got this money sitting over here. I've got, you know, yeah. a backup plan where if if I'm not claiming income or or this business goes under, they they've they've got a way out. The the vast majority of people that unfortunately, you know, paycheck to paycheck in this thirty six hundred dollar a month payment is like a big yeah. chunk of of things. Things go haywire for 60 days and it's game over for them. Those are the people that you don't want in no. an adjustable rate mortgage. Can't refinance because of a job change. Can't refinance because of equity. Can't refinance because of whatever reason. Then it goes up, you know, 300, 600, 900 dollars. It's game over. Done. For some Done. People. And well, so, that's what, yeah. yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, folks. Very few cool. Very, very, very cool. I'm glad we had this. If somebody wanted to come and have an honest discussion about what they qualify, what makes sense to them, how would they reach out to you and your team? greatmortgagebroker.com. You fill out that form and we connect you with the best of the best on, on my team or, you know, a colleague who's the specialist in Washington or Oregon or Texas, or, you know, we've got people across the country. So greatmortgagebroker.com. Very cool, brother. Thanks again. Thanks, Mike.